Hi and welcome to SCW, the wrestling channel here on YouTube.com. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video. Please subscribe right now, leave any comments in the comment section. Please like and share the video as well. Nearly at 240 subscribers, would love to hit that milestone, so please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to keep up to date with all latest wrestling content. But this video is going to be featuring the greatest Royal Rumble predictions for you. There's many matches going to be taking place, including a 50-man Royal Rumble match. We've got a casket match, we've got many title matches, so so let's get straight into the show. Now, as of time of recording, um, I am aware that Cedric Alexander is due to defend the Cruiserweight Championship at this event and will be determined on 205 Live this week. Now, to make a prediction here very quickly, Cedric Alexander has only won the belt a few days ago. So for me, it seems almost a disservice to the not just the Cruiserweight Championship, but also the tournament that was set to crown a new champion if the championship was to change hands in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. So for me, I'm going to say that Cedric Alexander will defend and successfully retain the belt whoever his challenger is now I will also make a quick prediction of who I think the challenger will be because Buddy Murphy is due a title match in time I believe it's probably going to be somewhere around backlash perhaps if not the pay-per-view after but my prediction for this event as we're going to determine a number one contender for now it makes sense for me being in Saudi Arabia perhaps maybe Mustafa Ali may get one more crack at the Cruiserweight Championship just to give a WrestleMania kickoff repeat here at the Greatest Royal Rumble it gives them another match it doesn't throw away a fresh match away from the championship I think it would be quite suitable for this event but I'm going to go for a Cedric Alexander victory Next, I'll look at what could be a potential swerve that could happen. We've got some Raw versus SmackDown matches here at this event. So um, it could maybe make kind of clear where some championships are going to go. But maybe with two titles, we could get a swerve. We could get it with the United States and Intercontinental Championships. Now, of course, um, the US title is on SmackDown. The Intercontinental Championship is on Raw. Should one of the other guys win it, the belts could swap shows. Now, it would be very interesting, particularly Samoa Joe making a promise that he was going to win the Intercontinental Championship and then defeat Roman Reigns, which he's going to face a backlash, and hopefully at that point would perhaps bring the Universal Championship and say so he'd bring it all to SmackDown Live. Now, for credibility, he would need to bring the Intercontinental Championship over to SmackDown first, but these championships are making a lot of changes recently. WWE have changed all the belts at WrestleMania, so the question is what to happen. So first, I will look at the Intercontinental Championship. We're going to have a four-way ladder match. So it's going to be Seth Rollins defending against Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, and The Miz. Now, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens here, because if that championship does move to SmackDown Live, it would either go with The Miz or Samoa Joe. If it was to stay on Raw, it could either stay in the possession of Seth Rollins or Finn Balor. Now, I've had a bit of a think about this and as much as I feel that the swerve could happen from WWE I'm of belief that championships should stay with their current rightful owners because like I say credibility to championships is not a good thing for a hot potato so I'm going to say that Seth Rollins should remain the Intercontinental Champion because I believe right now he can do a lot of good with that championship and the championship can do a lot of good for him so by process of elimination next then looking at what will be the United States Championship I believe it is also as much important that Jeff Hardy retains over Jinder Mahal. My reasoning for this is because I don't really want to see another Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton match at Backlash. I believe it would be more interesting with Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton, although we have seen that about 10 years ago. I do believe at this stage of the game, this could actually help Randy Orton perhaps as well, maybe with a heel turn down the line. Plus, for the United States Championship, it's been on so many different competitors, I believe five since December. It's changed from SmackDown to Raw, and Raw to SmackDown in space of 48 hours as well. To go back to Monday Night Raw as well, it just makes the championship seem completely worthless to me. So for me, I feel Jeff Hardy will need to retain on this particular occasion. One more SmackDown vs. Raw match to take place is the Raw Tag Team Championships, which are currently vacant. Sheamus and Cesaro of SmackDown, now The Bar, will be taking on Bray Wyatt and Welcome Matt Hardy. I believe Wyatt and Matt Hardy are going to win here purely as new Raw Tag Team Champions, and they can go forward on the Raw brand facing all the tag teams that are over there. Sheamus and Cesaro, they can go with SmackDown and take on the competitors over there. And it could even go against the winner of the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, which is going to be the Bludgeon Brothers versus the Usos. Now, I'm surprised the Usos didn't move to Raw, um, and I'm surprised here that uh, they've got their championship match here in Saudi Arabia. But I believe the Bludgeon Brothers are such on a roll right now, I cannot see a title change happening here. Again, the they've just won the belts as well, so it would be a disservice for them to lose it straight away. I think the Bludgeon Brothers are going to keep that momentum and are going to win here and retain the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. 
Looking at, before we go to the other matches on the card, we'll keep it championship-wise. The WWE Championship match, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, for me, this is the most uncertain match of the card because I think it's going to be better than what we've seen at WrestleMania. I've seen their Wrestle Kingdom match before and thought it was phenomenal. I thought the WrestleMania one didn't live up quite to par, but I think there's a few reasons for it. They wanted to build a story between these two. I think AJ perhaps maybe wasn't at his best, maybe, uh, fitness-wise at the time because it was an injury going into WrestleMania. I think the match here is going to be better. My worry is here, could we get a false finish because they want to drag this feud maybe to backlash. Now, for him to do this, somehow Nakamura would need to win for it to make sense for him to actually get uh, another championship opportunity. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's a DQ here. If there's going to be a flat-out winner, then I think Nakamura has to win it because otherwise he'll probably end up going to the back of the line. But um, I'm looking forward to see this match play out. I think it's going to be very good, whatever happens. It's certainly been the most one of the most interesting stories since Wrestlemania seeing Nakamura's heel turn and I'm looking forward to see how it's going to play out. I would love to see AJ Styles retain the championship as I'm a big fan of his and personally uh, for me I would like to see AJ just really keep the belt going in as a program with Samoa Joe but um, for the meantime it is Styles and Nakamura and I think that this program has still got some life left in it. I think it can go another month or two um, so I'm going to go for a false finish here but I think Nakamura will win regardless. Perhaps even it could be a scenario where he could go for a low blow. AJ Styles could be wearing a cup, and then maybe he could do the reverse and get caught by the referee. That could be a scenario that could play out. Uh, one championship I do expect to change hands is the Universal Championship. Now, of course, at last, uh, Brock Lesnar has been holding this belt now for over a calendar year. He's definitely beaten uh, the reigns of John Cena's longest title reign in WWE. The next one is CM Punk. Um, it would be interesting to see if WWE would want him to beat that record, but with the fact that he's going to be going off to do other things and perhaps in UFC very soon, it kind of feels like it's time. I feel with Roman Reigns um, to win in Saudi Arabia, it's probably going to get a better reaction than it would at WrestleMania. Um, it's it's what WWE wants, so I think it's going to finally happen here. I feel Roman Reigns is going to win against Brock Lesnar. I can't see him losing again. It feels like the time is right. This is going to be in a steel cage as well. Um, I wonder if it's going to limit the two of them, because they are used to sort of uh, being thrown around the ringside area, so it could make this match perhaps a little bit more boring than what it could have been, but then maybe they could use the cage to the advantage here. But I'm looking forward to see it play out. Um, Brock Lesnar against Roman Reigns. I think Roman Reigns is going to win here. Next, we'll look at John Cena versus Triple H, a match that has been uh, built for this event. One of the first matches advertised, I believe, for this event, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, John Cena has lost a lot recently, um, so I feel that he will probably pick up the victory. This match is kind of meaningless. There's no build to it at all. Um, this is just uh, one of those marquee matches to try and sell out uh, for this uh, this big event in Saudi Arabia. Of course, uh, two big names, and they would perhaps attract some headlines here. So to have against a match against each other, it sort of makes sense. Uh, I expect it will probably be in the middle of the card when it comes round to it and uh, I think it makes most sense for a John Cena victory here I'm not going to lie to you because then when Cena comes back he will have some sort of momentum then uh, to whatever program he goes into Next, we'll look at the casket match, which is The Undertaker, which now is going to be against Rusev. It was originally against Rusev, changed to Chris Jericho. Now it's back to Rusev. A Rusev day on Friday in a casket match against The Undertaker. Sadly, though, I don't think it's going to go so well for Rusev, no. Uh, I think The Undertaker is going to win here. I don't think it's going to be the longest match ever. In fact, there's so many matches on the card here that I don't think that uh, many of the matches are going to be long, particularly when you look at the Royal Rumble match itself. Um, so I expect this one to be perhaps a few minutes long. I think that um, you could suggest that maybe if it's like WrestleMania when it was the Taker and Cena, there could be another barrel going on here, literally. Uh, but I expect The Undertaker to win here against Rusev. Last but certainly not least is the most historic ever 50-man greatest Royal Rumble match. I'm a little bit sad that there's nothing more on the line here apart from a trophy. Uh, it was revealed on uh, WWE's Spanish uh, Twitter account that they would be winning a trophy. I feel a title shot would be much more worthy here, perhaps at Money in the Bank or SummerSlam, if I was honest. But um, I do feel that uh, it's certainly exciting to see a Rumble, Royal Rumble match here take place on this event. Uh, the biggest one ever as well. I really enjoyed the 40-man Royal Rumble uh, that took place in 2011, um, which, of course, Alberto or Del Rio back then did win. I feel this is one of the reasons as well that WWE want to have the biggest Royal Rumble ever. Give this to someone on their current roster and it's something they can brag about that super Star every week, so I expect whoever wins it to get some sort of uh, bit of a rub 
from this match from. And I think the person that's probably going to win it and get the most to benefit is Braun Strowman. Now, as much as I'm sure many would like Daniel Bryan to win this match, I certainly wouldn't mind seeing it happen. But uh, I think that this is very suitable for a big man here. I think that uh, Braun Strowman is perhaps in more need. Daniel Bryan is so over right now. And I think on the SmackDown side, he's going to have no issues uh, getting himself towards the top of the end of the card. I think Braun Strowman here would be much more beneficial to win this Royal Rumble match. He can have that marquee saying that he's won this. Uh, he's won the biggest Royal Rumble ever. And uh, it certainly will do him favours when it comes to future title opportunities. I'm sure as well there will be some special entrants that will enter into this Royal Rumble match as well as the main roster. Of course, we know Chris Jericho is going to be partaking in this special event. I wonder if there'll be any more big names. Of course, there was a rumour before that Stone Cold Steve Austin was offered a role with this, but it was rejected. It'll be interesting to see if there's any more legends that are going to be brought into this match. I'm sure it will be a fun field Royal Rumble match, and I'm sure there's going to be some nostalgic moments in this particular event. I'll be interested to see who there is going to be coming through the curtain as well as the traditional traditional superstars that we see currently from Raw and Smackdown. But that's all from me on this particular video. This is the greatest Royal Rumble predictions. Let me know your predictions in the comments below right now. I'd like to know if you agree with me or disagree. Certainly enjoy talking about professional wrestling with you guys, so do feel free to get involved each and every time. And if there's something you'd like also me to post a video about as well, do feel free to make a comment in the comments below. Please like and share the video. Uh, please subscribe as well. Almost at 240 subscribers would love to hit that milestone. Uh, thank you for watching and keep up to date with all the latest videos here at SCW, the wrestling channel here on YouTube.com. Take care.